right, what's up you guys? Um, pretty special moment today. My very first unboxing with my son here. And it's gonna be cool because we got two mystery tackle boxes to open. Are you excited? Yeah. Have we been talking about this for a long time? Yeah. yeah. And we want new Pokemon cards. You really want new Pokemon cards? What about new bait to go fishing with? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, well, I'm jumping on the bandwagon with uh, the rest of YouTube. Pretty much, um, we're going to do a double unboxing and talk about the lures, talk about... I was um, always excited as a kid to and get Pokemon new lures cards. and get new Pokemon cards and put them in to a tackle box. At, at least when like I was a kid, the funnest thing for me was to like get anything new, whether it was hooks, weights, and just be able to put them into my own tackle box. So what do you know, we got a brand new tackle box, uh, pretty basic from Walmart, already got a few things in there, things that came with it mainly. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into these. We'll open one at a time and then see how it, see how it goes. Cody, you want to help me, or you want to go ahead and try and open this one? Let's do the, the tape. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, kids these days, they want to do everything themselves. Come on, let me help you already. And we also got his little uh, fishing pole. We have yet to use because, um, yeah, I broke my leg and pretty much my ankles so i've been in crutches not really able to do much fishing lately come on let's get this thing open everyone's waiting okay you can rip the box that's fine but let's actually slow down wait wait i don't want to mess up anything that's in there yeah. let, let me help you with the tape please cody let me help you with the side and then it'll open. I want to open it. There. Uh, dude, I just me open it. Open that other side now. Come on, Stop. come on. Hey, 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 calm down. We're, we're filming right now. Calm down. Please, please. Okay, you got it. There you go. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, it's opened enough. Good job. Teamwork made the dream work. Okay, now let's go do one thing at a time. Okay, okay, so look, what do we got? What do we got here? We got a... Hey, this is what's inside. This. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. So this is a trout box. I forgot to say. Um, this stuff is everything like a trout MTB, NTB mystery tackle box, trout box. So everything that you would get for trout. Let's check out the first thing that they got. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see what they got. These get, this came from freaking... Yeah, the MTV guys, they packed it up especially for us. It's called the Lunker Hunt Magic Bean. That looks like a cool bait. Looks like a little spinner on the back. Got one solid treble hook and it looks like it's like a orange, uh, almost like a chartreuse bottom on the color on the bottom. Could be a cool bait. Um, Lunker Hut, that's, that's a good company. I know, definitely. You can open it. Um, it looks like it's opening from the back. Look at back, back, back. On the back side. Slow down, slow down. Cody, look, 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 look. Look, look. Open it right there. I know, just slow down though. Look right there. There it is. Now it already wants to come out, and I'll let you go ahead and put it in your tackle box. 
Let's go ahead and put it in there. Just slow down. Look, it's gonna come out. Just no. slow down. Okay. All right, give me that. That's cool. The shiny Lunker Hunt little back thing. All right, look at that thing. Oh, it's in a gold little spinner. That would look, we're good at a lake, I think yeah. I know of. Yeah, let me help you, please, so you don't hook yourself. Oh my gosh, let me help you. I'm, this, this is a hook. Let, I'm gonna just fight it out. Stop it, this has hooks. I'm not Ow. messing around. Oh my God, did you hook yourself? No. Are you sure? All right, so put this in there somewhere, please. Let's go move on to the next bait. We're taking too long. We're moving to the next bait. We're taking Cody. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I can't, I'm actually doing this for real to put it on YouTube, okay? I can't have you messing around and just stopping me, okay? You are though. Okay, so look, this says the Strike Pro Tournament Grade. And this is supposed to be for trout, so let's see. It says the Strike Pro Beetle Buster, regular value 879. Not that looks like a this. cool bait, so we're gonna go and put that. Let's see. This looks like the tungsten, the woo tungsten. <laughs> yep, this is the woo tungsten, I think, or Kender's tungsten. I don't know. Anyways, those look definitely like good little teardrops. Um, what's this? This is the cast mat. Okay, that's cool. That's just like a little cardboard thing. This looks like the cast master glow. Um, tiger glow. Looks pretty. Oh, it looks like actually on the side of it, it does have some tiger stuff. That actually looks like a cool bait to troll around with. I love me some trolling, so. Let's move on. It looks like we got some Cajun lures. Uh, catch them for Cajun. Um, little glowy chartreuse -y type worms. Definitely look fun. Like a fun thing. Let's see. We got a little sticker here. Catch Co. Um, Kinder's Outdoor Tungsten and Jigs. Lunker Hunt Magic Bean was the first thing we did. Acme Tackle Castmaster. That was that little tiger one. And then the Cajun Lures. Okay, so. Yeah, that was a good uh, solid value for a little uh, box for the, for the little kids. It looks like he's opening them up. And he's putting them away. We got this little. Uh, this is that one guy. The Beetle Buster. Looks like a cool bait though, definitely. Um, and he's got this one to open. And I'm gonna go ahead and start helping with. And then this looks like a little dibble trick, tips and tricks from MTB about catching some trout. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything yet, but um, hopefully maybe one day I will be. Looks like we got a little word search on the back. Carl's bait and tackle. Um, let's see what else we got going on and let me just remind you guys my videos are a little bit raw um, my son you know is definitely four and it's it's kind of hard to uh, to like get him to cooperate perfectly so you know I'm just a young father a young guy and, and trying to do my best with you know what I know and I'm trying to teach him fishing and take him fishing so I hope I'm just on the right path to doing the right thing and you know raising him right. I'm I'm definitely not perfect and you know it's hard to get your your kids to be like quiet and mellow and super cooperative. Like I don't know how some guys do it. I mean I've seen it done on YouTube, but I have yet to like be able to conquer that myself. Anyways, I'm gonna set this up right here and just kind of. I'm gonna start opening this second tackle box we got. Hey, how's that one look? That one's a cool one, huh? That one's tiger. All right, looks like I'm getting this thing open. Doing the best I can. What's in that? 
Uh, I'm about to find out. You want to help me with this at one last corner? Yep. All right. This time, I think I don't do it. Okay, it's just taped on this side. Just a little bit. So you got to lift it up. Let's try and lift it up again, like we did last time. And get up under there and just kind of... There we go. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's take out that Ooh. first little card right here, this top thing. And this kind of tells us what we got. What's inside? Whoa! Ooh, or we could do it that way too. That way is kind of fun. Just jump right in there. Um, let's see, what is this called? Let's see what it's called first. This is called the Supercharged Impulse Mayfly. Hey, those are like little bugs got inside the there. Baits. That's cool. Those are like little fly type bugs in there. That is awesome. Do you like those, Cody? Yeah. Heck yeah. He those things might catch some fish. It. I think those are going to be my favorite too. I mean, and so this is my favorite. The mayflies, those retailed at $3.99. So let's see what else we got this in here. This one's my favorite. So it looks like we got another Catch Co. sticker. Looks like we got the same one in both boxes. That, that's kind of funny, but whatever. They could have given us a different sticker. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. MTB, I love you guys. Um, now let's see here. We got something else. Look at these supercharged impulse. They're like T-bones, they're called. Are those supposed to catch fish? That's what they're shaped like. A little uh those look like a I almost want to say like what are they called, Cody? Oh, I think they're before your time. Yep. Not act jacks, but where you drop the ball on the floor and you gotta pick them up. I wanna say like jacks or something. I forget what exactly what they're called, but I, t comment down below if you don't think that that little shaped jiggy thing is gonna catch a fish and what the what what I'm talking about. I forget the okay. name of that that uh, old game you play with the little bouncy ball and you, you drop it and you pick them up. Or, I don't know, okay. The Lindy Darter, we got the Lindy Darter, legendary fishing tackle it says. Hey, that's kind of a cool color. I like the gold in there. And it's kind of got like a black line on the top. Got two uh, treble hooks. They look pretty solid. That might catch a fish or two. I'm stoked. I'll try it. Um, what do we got? Don't, don't open those up. Leave those in there because those are little bugs. And we don't want those to go everywhere. But that's good you took it out of that package. So at least they're in here. You can lift this up. And you can even like store it down there. Let's take this one out though if you want. And then we got this one too. And then let's see what else we got in this box. So, ooh, this thing actually looks killer. A uh, trout and panfish spinner, it says, by Bait Rigs. It looks kind of big, to be honest, but maybe the trout will go for it and they'll just like it and nail it. Um, Just a big, solid, big freaking spinner um looks interesting looks like a lot of fun i do like to do a lot of trolling uh i don't know why but always just cruising around makes it like kind of interesting you never know when the bite's gonna happen and it always usually happens in a little bit different of a spot i mean the same general area maybe sometimes but when you're trolling for long periods of time you sometimes catch fish in different spots of like than you're like expecting and it's kind of like keeps super fun and interesting i don't know you're gonna dump those ones out let's dump them out yeah so the, pick some up pick, yeah they're mushy huh they see those things look like jacks and i guess i'm supposed to bait those on a hook and they're supposed to catch a trout i don't know we'll have to try it out and look at this salmon egg hooks these are called Salmon Egg Hooks by South Bend. 10 pack, 12. And they're like little itty bitty hooks. But they seem kind of cool. Uh, maybe for some really small trout, finicky trout. Hook bonnets. Al's Goldfish Hook Bonnets is going to be the last thing it looks like they, they got for us. Um, I've never heard of a hook bonnet. It seems like a good idea. Hey, look at it. Did you get that out of there? This was the little, um, what is it called? Lindsay darter. This is the little Lindsay darter. It is definitely a cool bait. I like this one. Um, seems like, I don't know, the colors are super cool. I like the red little eye it has. It has like a red eye. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Where'd the wood go? Um, let's see. It looks like it fell through. Hopefully it didn't fall to the cracks. Where'd it go? <clears throat> it's probably on this side somewhere over right there. Right there. I see it. Where? Right there. Alright, well, get under there and get it. But don't knock over everything. Alright, so it looks like this one's completely empty. Looks like we finished with both boxes. We got a couple lures and such. Ooh, that's that big one, huh? Let me see that thing. Let me see it in my hand. Wait, I want to show the cannon or hold it up. This definitely looks like an awesome spinner. It has some weight to it. Um, it's kind of on the larger size caliber. Uh, I, it's not an eighth of this of an ounce. I think it's about an eighth, eighth of an ounce. I don't know. Let me see the box. Where was that box at? I liked the. I usually when I'm fishing for trout go smaller, but I mean maybe bigger baits, bigger fish, and I I'm definitely up to that. I'm definitely a newer type angler I've been fishing since I was a kid but there's a lot of gaps I like to surf and I did a lot of surfing throughout my uh but um I'm trying to get back into fishing because I'm getting old I'm like 29 now I'm like I like to surf a lot still but I think this YouTube and fishing thing is kind of cool kind of interesting um uh, really excited to start doing it and have my son along for the ride and yeah, that, um, I think that concludes our video. Um, Jeff here again with my son Cody. Uh, making magic fishing <laughs> is what I came up with for my YouTube channel. And a uh, little backstory on that. Making magic, uh, I think every day, every day is like kind of magical. And like, I don't know, just when you're out fishing, it's, it's pretty like cool to be just out there in, in you know, nature and stuff. And and then fishing is is always kind of suspenseful you never know when you're gonna get bit and so the moment that you do get bit and hooked up it's like that's like where all the magic happens right there is like you just made the magic happen for you so like my kind of slogan is like to go out and just keep making magic you know everyone go out there and make some magic happen go out and have some fun and when really you get the really fish bite it's like really that to me that's like all the magic right there and i mean and and the journey but but especially when the fish bites so uh thanks a lot you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe uh drop a comment show a little love um super embarrassing and hard to like get used to but uh, still, I, I definitely gonna try and definitely gonna show a lot of effort and work put into these videos, even if they suck. Uh, I think that it's all a work in progress, and the more you do it, the more you get better. Um, thanks so much for watching. All right, you guys, uh, keep making magic. All right, Cody, you wanna hit the camera? You wanna hit it? Yeah. Here, hit it. <laughs>